currently reading The Little Gingerbread Boy. All right, let's see. All right. Once upon a time, there lived a little old woman and a little old man. They had no boys or girls of their own, so they lived all by themselves in a little old house. One day, the little old woman was baking gingerbread. I'll make a little gingerbread boy, she said. So she rolled the dough out flat and cut in the shape of the little boy. She made him two good-sized feet, and she gave him eyes and a mouth made of raisins and currants and stuck on a cinnamon drop for a nose. She put a row of raisins down the front of his jacket for buttons. There, she said, now we'll have a little gingerbread boy of our own. She popped him into the pan, popped him to the oven, and closed the door. Then she went about her work. Sweeping, cleaning, cleaning, and sweeping, she forgot all about the gingerbread boy. Meanwhile, he baked brown all over and got very hot. Oh my, she said, the little old woman at last sniffing the air. The gingerbread boy is burning. She went to the oven and opened the door. Up jumped the gingerbread boy and he hopped onto the floor, ran across the kitchen and out of the door, across the garden, through the gate, down the road as fast as his little gingerbread legs could carry him. The little old woman and the little old man ran after him shouting, stop, stop, little gingerbread boy. The gingerbread boy looked back and laughed and called out, run, 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 catch me if you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread boy. I am, I am. And they couldn't catch him. So the gingerbread boy ran on and on. Soon he came to a cow. Um, mm, sniffed the cow, you smell good. Stop, the little gingerbread boy, I would like to eat you. But the gingerbread boy laughed and said, I've run away from a little old woman, I've run away from a little old man, and I can run away from you. I can, I can. So the cow ran after him, but she could not catch him. The gingerbread boy ran on and on, and soon he came to a horse. Please stop, little gingerbread boy, said the horse. You look very good to eat. But the gingerbread boy called out, I've run away from an old woman, I've run away from an old man, and I've run away from my cow, and I can run away from you. I can. So the horse ran after him, but he could not catch him. By and by, the little gingerbread boy came to a barn in where some men were threshing wheat. The thresher saw a little gingerbread boy and called, do not run so fast, little gingerbread boy. Gingerbread boys are made to eat. But the gingerbread boy ran faster and faster and shouted, I've been away from a little old woman. I've run away from a little old man. I've run away from a cow. I've run away from a horse and I can run away from you. I can, I can. So the threshers ran after him, but they could not catch him. The gingerbread boy ran faster than ever. Soon he came to a field full of mowers. When the mowers saw how, good, how fine he looked, they called, wait a bit, wait a bit, gingerbread boy. Gingerbread boys are made to eat. But the gingerbread boy laughed harder than ever and ran on like the wind. Oh ho, oh ho, he cried. I've run away from a little old woman. I've run away from a little old man. I've run away from a cow. I've run away from a horse. I've run away from a barn full of threshers. And I can run away from you. I can, I can. And there he goes. So the mowers ran after him, but they could not catch him. By the time the ginger boy was very proud of himself, he strutted, danced, and pranced, and he thought no one on earth could catch him. Then he saw a fox coming from the field. The fox looked at, looked at him and began to run. But the little gingerbread boy ran faster still and shouted, Run, run, catch me if you can, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread boy, I am, I am. I've run away from a little old woman. I've run away from a little old man. I've run away from a cow. I've run away from a horse. I've run away from a barn full of threshers. And I've run away from a field full of mowers. And I can run away from you. I can't, I can't. Why, said the fox politely, I wouldn't catch you if I could. But the gingerbread boy came to a wide river. And he dared not to jump into the water, for he would crumble into pieces if he did. 
He looked behind him. The cow, the horse, and all the people were still following and getting closer. He had to cross the river so or they would catch him. The fox saw this and said, jump on my tail and I'll take you across. So the little gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's tail and the fox jumped into the water. When they were out on the river, the fox said, little gingerbread boy, I think you'd better get on my back before you may fall off. So the gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's back. After swimming a little faster, the fox said, the water is deep. You may get wet where you are. Jump on my shoulder. So the gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's shoulder. Okay. When they were near the other side of the river, the fox cried out suddenly. The water grows deeper still. Jump on my nose. Jump on my nose. So the gingerbread boy jumped onto the fox's nose. Oh my! The fox sprang ashore and threw back his head. Snip! Half the gingerbread boy was snip gone. Snap! He was three quarters gone. Snip! Snap! Snip! The, and the last and at last, he went the way of every single gingerbread boy that ever came out of an oven. He was all gone. So the little old woman, the little old man, the cow and the horse and the threshers and the mowers all went home again. And the fox had a good long nap. And the end.